Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be continuing with the Farthest Frontier Guide and we're going to be going through Year 2. Now if you haven't watched Year 1, I do highly recommend watching that one first before you watch this one. I'll leave the link down in the description below. So watch that one first and then come back to this video and watch this one. If you do like the video and find it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or even if you would like to see a playthrough of this game, make sure you let me know down in the comments down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well but without further ado let's get straight into the video so welcome everyone back to forest frontier now let's head into year two where i've got more tips and tricks for you so here we are in year two but heading straight into year two what the first thing you want to be doing is getting your farm built so you can try and get it built and ready just before winter hits so we're going to go straight into the build menu and we're going to go into food production and we're going to go to the crop field when you are figuring a place to build your crop field you want to look for very fertile land this is easily found by this screen here you want to look for the dark green areas now as you can see we've got a 74 percent fertility i've got a nice bigger area down here which is around the same fertility but we'll save that bit for later so all you want to do is you want to just drag and drop now one thing you want to bear in mind when placing crop fields is if you're not in pacifist mode and you have got wild animals and things i do recommend leaving a one tile border around so you can build fences but just for the purposes of tutorial we're just going to build a nice farm here so as you can see we've got a maximum size here and you also have smallest now the smallest you can go to is a 5x5 five five, and the biggest you can go to is a 12x12 12 12. but at the start of the game you don't really need to go too big you can upgrade later or build more crop fields so we're just going to do a small 6x6 six six for now and that's nice and built like that now at any point if you want to check the fertility of the land all you have to do is press hotkey f and it will bring it up like this so you can check the fertility of your land this is helpful for when you are planning to build more buildings you want to try and avoid your high fertility areas because you want to save them for your farms now the next thing we need to focus on in year two is a saw pit that can be found in the build menu under resources and it can be found here in the saw pit now the reason why you want a saw pit is because this will produce planks of wood now planks of wood will be used in buildings a bit further on in the game and you want to be mindful of where you're placing your saw pit i class this as an industrial building as well so i like to put it in a separate area sort of my industrial area which i've chosen to basically be down here somewhere um, i've got a little bit of a hill here so i need to flatten some land but it's not too much of a worry i've got this area over here as well the reason being is because as you can see if you place it near shelters it does affect their desirability in a negative way so you want to try and stay away from buildings but we have our storage yard and everything over here as well so we're going to pop it here for now around about there should be a good idea and we're just going to build a path just round it just to make ease of access so nice we've got two new villages up immigrated so our desirabilities are working well people are wanting to move to our village so that's a good thing so next what we want to do is we've got loads of resources flooding in now our storage because at the moment all we've got is a stockyard we haven't really got anywhere to store anything else so what we want to do is go into the building menu head into storage and now we can build a storehouse now a storehouse is a bigger version than the stockyard but it also stores all items and not just log stone and wood planks now the downside to the storehouse is you do have to have the stockyard built first and that's not too much of an issue so what we're going to do is we're going to build the storehouse pretty much next to the stockyard so they're both in the same location now another bonus to the storehouse is once this is built this will unlock other buildings such as the market which we will go through a bit later on in the video so as you can see we've got a nice load of firewood coming in so what we can do we can also organize our laborers and workers quite a bit so what we can do is head over to the firewood splitter as i had two workers in here to try and get my firewood up but i'm quite happy with the level so far at the moment so we can just click this minus and we have disabled a worker but we have now gained one more laborer to do other things that are more important and if at any point our stocks are getting low we can just add another worker into there so we're just going to prioritize our storehouse so we can get that built so we can unlock the market okay so now that our storehouse is built we can build the market now market does is basically provides our houses with household goods and just basically just speed, speeds up the process of the workers delivering items 
items to them now where you want to place your market is as you can probably tell by now is right by your houses as it does increase the desirability also what the market does is generates attack which is this up here in the top right it's your gold so once the market is built it will generate tax from the houses now this can be used later on when we come to trading but i'm going to do a separate video on that as that is quite in depth and can be a bit daunting at first so i'm going to do a separate video that delves a bit deeper into that so as you can see if we head over to our farm it's still not built it takes quite a long time to build the farm so I don't know if we'll make it before winter. I mean, if it is built before winter, we probably won't be able to plant any crops until the next year. And that's why I highly recommended in video one to try and build a hunter's shack and a fisherman's shack as well for your food resource. As farming is more of a long-term food resource rather than a quick food resource. Now, if you are a bit closer to winter and you don't think that you will get it built in time, what you can do to free up your work workers because as you can see this takes five workers to build this so if you wanted to sort of stop building this for the meantime and then start building it again at the beginning of the next year you just click on your farm and this works with any building as well that you're building and you can just click this tick here and your construction is disabled and then at any point you want to resume you just do the same thing again and just click that there so now it's time to do a little bit of forward planning and what we're going to do is we're going to build another forager but we're not going to build this forager for collecting berries and things like that what we're going to be doing is collecting willow bushes and as you can see we have a whole load of willow bushes over here which is absolutely perfect now what willow bushes allow you to do is to create baskets and it allows you to build the basket shop what this does is gives your villagers baskets and what that allows them to do is to basically carry more items which just speeds up the process of resource gathering and transferring items from place to place so let's get a forager built so we'll get a forager shack built just about over here and uh, we'll go this side so we don't disturb any of the willow bushes seems like a good place to me so we'll build that there and then what we're also going to do at the same time is we're going to build the basket shop as well so we're just going to i reckon about there that should be nice and handy there and then to finally finish off year two before the winter hits and everything comes to a sort of a standstill is i highly recommend building a compost yard now your compost yard as you can see has a monthly cost of four gold bar so you don't want to build this until your market is built but obviously you can still place it down anyway and what the compost yard does it has two uses it can create fertilizer for your fields which is absolutely perfect but what it also does is it helps keep your village or town very clean because basically what it does is transfers the waste from your houses into the compost yard which then in turn turns the compost into fertilizer for your fields so bearing that in mind you want to obviously not place it anywhere near your shelters because as you can see we are at say three and four percent we move this closer it will drastically drop the desirability down so you want to stay as well as way as you can from your houses as possible so what we're going to do is find somewhere nice and out the way not really near any other buildings because let's face it who wants to smell waste on a daily basis so what we're going to do is i I think we're going to pop it over here near sort of the graveyard that's probably the best place for it if you ask me but i don't want really, to really want to build it here because that's a bit too close to my village it doesn't really allow me much expansion so what i think we're going to do is we're going to yeah what i think we'll do is we'll pop it over this side of the graveyard i think that seems like a nice out of the way place to put it we'll just link it like that for now i think so as you can see here my farm wasn't quite built and it's now winter time so as you can see the construction has been halted due to the winter so this is why i do recommend if it's getting close to winter and it's not going to be built you click the halt at the construction just to free up some workers but if you do fail to do that like i have you just head over to here keep pressing the down to decrease the workers and that will free up some workers for everything else you want to do so there we are everyone we're coming to the end of year two and we're also coming to the end of this video so hopefully you liked that video and you found it very helpful and helped you progress
progress through year two and they have a bit more idea on what the game is like so if it did make sure you hit that like button and if you have any questions or anything like that let me know down in the comments down below and i'll do my best to help you and also hit that subscribe button i'm so close to a thousand subscribers and i appreciate everyone's help in getting me close to that goal so if you could show me some support that'd be much appreciated so thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next video